2023 certainly feels like the year of the pop star, doesn't it? Britney Spears released her memoir. Beyonce broke records with the Renaissance tour. And now another huge name in music is heading down under for a one-night-only show in Melbourne. None other than Christina Aguilera. So to celebrate her arrival, we thought we'd take a look back at the bangers that made her. When I need a Sunday kind of love. It was 1988 when a baby-faced Christina Aguilera showed the world the girl could sing. And by the age of 12, she joined the Mickey Mouse Club. Alongside some other famous faces. Justin. Carrie. JC. But after landing the lead song in Disney's animated feature Mulan, music executives took notice and so began her career as a pop star. I'm doing my first music video. Album's coming out in August from Sight. Following the success of her first album, Christina was quick to take home her first Grammy. And the best new artist is... Come on, come on. Christina, Christina Aguilera! Oh my God, you guys. I seriously do not have a speech prepared. In 2001, she teamed up with a couple of other well-known artists for this iconic anthem. And one year later, she stripped it all back. The album was a hit, with a world tour the following year, hitting the stage with none other than her Mickey Mouse mate. And who can forget this moment at the MTV Awards? By 2005, she'd found a new sound, taking inspiration from old Hollywood. Five years later, Christina landed her first movie role, playing a waitress turned performer in burlesque. Working alongside another famous face. In 2011, she took a spin as a coach on the US version of The Voice, teaming up with fellow judge Adam Levine for a song that would cement her place as the fourth female artist to top the charts over three decades. Then, like so many before her, she ventured to Vegas, performing a residency at the Planet Hollywood Hotel for one year. Now Christina is back. Beginning next month, she'll kick off her second stint in Sin City at the Venetian Resort. But not before getting dirty down under for a one-night-only show in Melbourne marking her first performance in Australia in 15 years. It's been a while since I've been to Australia, but I'm so thrilled to be returning, even though I'm a little scared of kangaroos, but <laughs> I am most excited, and what I remember most of anything from Australia is how hyped the crowds were. And we'll be again on Saturday night. It is going to be an How absolute good. cracker. Welcome back, Xtina. Exactly. Still to come, Cricket World Cup.